What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. One of the newer trends in the movie and TV series industry is the adaptation from the comic book to the cinema. There is no difference in the adaptation of Warrior Nun, the adaptation from the comic books to the TV series. With the first season reaching the popularity that it got, here are some first looks moving forward towards season two of this show. Be aware of spoilers ahead. Number 10, season one recap. You don't have a plan at all, do you? Well, I have one until we crash the party. Before moving forward with the list, here is some recap for the viewers and fans that have watched it and the new viewers that can't wait to get their hands on this American fantasy drama web television series created by Simon Barry, based on the comic book character Warrior Nun Ariella by Ben Dunn. Ava, a teenager that was involved in a crash that put her in an orphanage and disabled, is overdosed by one of the nuns in the orphanage just to be revived in the morgue to serve a higher purpose and lay waste to the demons and all the other creatures from the underworld. A mysterious artifact revived her, a halo that was put in her back, a much needed help that releases her from the disability she has and giving her power to rapidly heal and phase through walls among many other cool things. Number nine, season one ending. Fuck that in this life. As with all TV shows out there, one of the perfect recipes for an ever rising fan base is a very good cliffhanger and an even better ending that will keep the fans on their toes, itching to see what will happen next. In the Warrior Nun ending of the season one, our minds were boggled with crazy facts and ideas of what is coming. Even with the appearance of the so-called angel Adriel, many new theories were developed and many other older ones that were made up overturned. Adriel is actually a devil and a thief that he only gave the halo to Ava, a mysterious artifact that is yet to be discovered after stealing it himself first. However, there are many questions that remain hidden and unanswered regarding who exactly is Adriel. How did he get his hands on the halo in the first place? And where does he even come from? Number eight, season two renewal. You fight in his name. About that, I'm not exactly what you would call religious. Right from the start of when first came out Warrior Nun and the fans watching it, the first question they ask themselves is, will there be a season two? With the series being released just a few weeks ago, it is still too early that we get green light for the second season. There is an inside source that says season two will be there. And even though there was not an official news report by Netflix, from what we have seen so far and what some of the cast members did and showed some hints, they all point in the same direction. Season two is coming for sure. With no official news from Netflix, we are still waiting for the right confirmation about whether the rumors about season two are true or just hype for what is yet to come. Number seven, the COVID-19 factor. For a while now, the pandemic has complicated things in every sphere of the world. There is no exception in the filming industry. Many problems have risen since the beginning of it. Even if Warrior Nun earns the right to go ahead with the production of the second season, it is unlikely that we will see the release of the second season before the latter half of 2021. So thanks to the pandemic, Hollywood has shut down production. So filming will be slow to start for every show or movie that has come in the near future. Number six, Warrior Nun season two, Netflix status. Direct like a nun. Bless you, my child. <sighs> Too far. This way. Early renewals on next season TV shows on the Netflix streaming service are very uncommon, but doing so shows us that the streaming service has lots of faith in the original. There is still a period to wait before the official confirmation from Netflix, but we have it under good authority to say that Warrior Nun has already been renewed for season two. Netflix's faith has been rewarded when it comes to Warrior Nun, as it has been battling it out together with Unsolved Mysteries for the TV series' top spot in multiple regions, and already reaching the top in Brazil, Netherlands, and New Zealand. So far, Warrior Nun has reached the second place as the most popular TV series in the USA, UK, India, and many more countries. And as time goes by, we expect that this show will hit the top spot in further regions. Number five. When will season two of Warrior Nun release on Netflix? You need a lesson in camaraderie. And you're gonna teach it to me. I've already beaten you once. Sometimes you need to lose a battle to win a war. Considering the first season just came out on 2nd of July, 
there will be a long wait for the season two. If the filming begins in 2020, there is a high chance that this TV show will return somewhere in 2021, a speculation based on the release of the first season. Filming for season one took place between March 11, 2019 and July 5, 2019, which means it took one whole year for the series to arrive. So, considering this and the fact that it's being filmed in Spain due to the coronavirus pandemic, there will be a delay in the whole process meaning that we will be lucky if the series releases until the end of 2021, as long as the filming begins in 2020. Number 4. Season 2 Cast And this life for the next. And this, this life, life for, the for the next. Seeing how the whole story progressed throughout the first season, there is no doubt that most of the cast will be returning for season 2 also, including the following. Alba Baptista as Ava Silva, Tecla Retton as Jillian Salvius, Toya Turner as Sister Mary, Lorena Andrea as Sister Lilith, Christina Tontera Young as Sister Beatrice, Sylvia DeFonte as Mother Superior, and Tristan Ulua as Father Vincent. Among other cast members that we will be seeing in season two, Emilio Sacria, who showed himself in the first half of the season before breaking up with Ava, is possible for him to return in the future of the series. You mentioned something earlier about being stuck in a bed. What do you mean by that? Without a doubt, we will be seeing more of William Miller, who plays Adriel and playing a bigger part in the second season, after showing himself only at the end of the first one. And looking from the nature of the series, we might see some other characters that have died during season one to be seen in season two, in flashbacks, and brought back to life with Holy Resurrection. Number three, season two plot theories. You weren't testing me at all, were you? You had me hooked up to this thing the entire time. From what we have seen and how the story went, the fans have already made some theories and they already have so many questions about what will happen next. With the season ending and Adriel has revealed his true self to the world, Ava and her fellow sister will fight his army of demons and hopefully save Shotgun Mary in the process. Thanks to the cliffhanger we got there are a lot of questions that need answering, like what happened to JC? Where is Michael? And how will Ava be able to find the strength to defeat Adriel? The sisters also have to reckon with the fact that the Order of the Cruciform Sword is based on a lie, and perpetuated by Father Vincent's lie. There must be something to turn to and believe to regain their strength as a unity, and find their new meaning for all the things they are willing to do. And what about Beatrice's identity, with signs from the crew that it will be looked into even further? There will be without a doubt a whole new set of mysteries. Where did the portal that Jillian Salvius' son took leads? and whether heaven and hell are just spiritual realms or merely just different dimensions. Number two, cast hints. I'm so sorry you had to see that. One of the things that helped the world in figuring out what will happen next on the show are some of the hints that some cast members accidentally or on purpose hinted out to the world and the many interviews they had for the time period. Several cast members have already spoken out about what should the audience expect in the future, particularly Toya Turner, who plays Shotgun Mary. In one interview hinted that they are going even further into things, much further than season one. Also, star Alba Baptista in an interview discussed the series and how she is fascinated by the dense characteristics of the angel Adriel, and how she is very excited about finding out new and fascinating things about his backstory in the future. She also said the plot twist that happened in the season one story and ending is not just an accident, but rather a hint of an even wilder season two that is yet to come. A little work for the spectators to guess what is coming next, but they will have to wait for another year at least to find out. Number one, showrunner plans beyond season two. Sometimes life just changes right out from under you, you know? Seeing how the first season went, showrunner Simon Barry certainly has big hopes for the future. In an interview with him, he said that, with this strong start they had and possibly an even stronger future ahead, he is very confident in bringing the series a third, a fourth, and even a fifth season to the mix. Somewhere between five and seven seasons in total. But for that, we will have to wait and see how the story unfolds for the season two of this TV show. Simon, with full confidence, says that he is very hyped and happy to be collaborating with Netflix for a longer period of time and bring the series to life. And seeing how all this went until now, we hope so too. Thank you for watching until the end. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this in the future.